Hey, Dr. Clark here with Vibrance Family Chiropractic. I just want to thank everyone from the bottom of our hearts for all the support you've been giving us, all the staff, the patients, and really the community of East Nashville. You know, when something like this tragedy, this tornado struck, it's, it's you know, obviously a major tragedy, major setback for the whole city of Nashville. Uh, but most importantly, the values that we share as a community have come across in so many ways. It's, it's a beautiful place to be, and I'm just proud to be part of it. I want to show you a little bit of the damage. Um, obviously, our office, you can check out. We appreciate all the love and support here in the office. One of the biggest things on our mind is obviously uh, making sure the lives of the people that work here aren't interrupted as well, and we want to support them. If there's anything that you can donate, anything that you can give, even sharing this message is important. Whatever you can do to help is going to go a long way to keep the food on the table, the lights on for the people that are unfortunately out of work until we can figure this whole mess out. Thank you for supporting the people, the families, the community affected by this tornado, the community as a whole coming together. I've never seen something so amazing in the midst of such tragedy. Um, I can't tell you how many messages have come across for people just wanting to do something, do a little bit of something. Uh, every little bit counts, every dollar, $5, $10, whatever you feel in your heart that's going to make you happy to support this cause, to support the tornado, to support the families that are affected by this, we appreciate it. Um, I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Thank you all so much. We will rebuild. We will be stronger. And again, thanks. In front row, you get front row seats. Get the best seat in the house. Here's your spine, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've got a few challenges when we're looking at the spine here. Basically what you're gonna notice is, um, I'm gonna take this line and just kind of pull this away here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just zoom in. When we're looking at the spine, when we're coming up here, what I wanna see is I wanna see all of these vertebrae and in between these spinous processes, I wanna see these nice, straight, balanced. When you're looking at the spine, you're gonna notice, so you see the way it's like a, kind of pretty much like a square or, or a rectangle. Mm -hmm. You see the little spot in the middle there? Mm -hmm. That's called your spinous process. It's where you have muscles attach um, to allow you to twist, rotate, things like that, okay? That little spinous process needs to be directly in the middle. If that spinous is turned this way or turned this way, that's obviously not a good thing, okay? The only time it should be turned that way when you're standing straight is, <coughs> is when you twist, okay? So as we come up here, what you're gonna notice, we're coming up, we're coming up. First of all, as we get up into this area, do you see how the spine starts to wanna come over to the side? Mm -hmm. You see these spinuses, how they're like doing this pretty mm -hmm. much. So look at that one right there. You see how it's kind of sitting like that? That's what that bone is actually doing. So when your spine starts to twist and it creates this torquing motion, um, it creates a lot of pressure, stress, and irritation, and that area becomes weaker. And if you leave it that way, that area pulls on muscles weird, pulls on your alignment weird, and then it causes symptoms like you were experiencing last time you came in. So when we adjusted you last time, big part of our job was to realign those vertebrae correctly to bring that spinous back to center and to help that range of motion of those, those bones. Look at the way your, your neck is positioned. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So obviously you can tell, and I can put this line back over here because this will show you where the center of your body is, where these two bones down here connect. And you know, so lumbar spine's good. This is where we, what we call the thoracic spine. You see how it shifts over to the left. And then as we get higher, even, even more of a shift over. So quite a bit of alignment issues going on there. Ideally, we want all of these to be lined up with the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions on that? Did you think your spine looked like that? No. No. <laughs> um, one thing that's telling us is, and how old are you again? Remind me. I'm about to be 21. I'm about to be 21. Yeah. So when you're young, it's really important to pay attention to your alignment. So as you age and get older, it doesn't get worse. Okay. So adjustments are going to be really important for you because those adjustments are going to basically be one of the biggest things that are going to allow that alignment to get better. Okay. So really important to um, think about that. The other thing we're seeing in the neck area 
is your head's coming farther forward than it's supposed to be. So you see here your body's right here. Mm -hmm. Ideally, your head is gonna be above your body. We don't want your head sitting in, in front of your body. So they call that tech neck or text neck. And basically what it means is when we're on our phones a lot and on computers a lot, our head starts training our um, spine to push forward and come forward. And you've probably seen people with their spines trained to get them in a, like this position. So that's years and years and decades of training to where they're, they're stuck there. And they usually have to have a walker and, and they're older and things like that. So we want to make sure your head is over your body. It's sitting correctly. It's not down here. It's not pushed forward. And the biggest reason we want to do that is not just so you have good posture and good alignment. It's so the pressure on the neck and on the upper back is where it needs to be. And we don't want that pressure to just get to the point where it causes the, the nerve irritation, the flare-ups, and the pain and discomfort. Um, but more so just making sure your body lasts like it's supposed to, okay? Any questions with that at all? Okay. Well, let's go ahead. We can go into the other room, check and see how your body's responding, see what it's doing, and uh, go from there. Um, basically, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead. We'll bring the chin over, rotate it towards one side. Okay. Any pain, discomfort when you do that? Um, a little bit, but like not okay. nearly as much as before. So it's it's feeling better. Where are you feeling it when you do it now? It's st still the same place. Same it just feels of? like it feels sore. Just a little sore, overworked, things like that. No sharpness. But, okay. Yeah. Let's go to the other side. Oh my goodness gracious. Way better. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. That's good. High five. I didn't think it would change that quickly. So that's a really good thing. From the side view here, this is where we got to work on your alignment, okay? So we were talking about the head. Just to let you know, it's going to feel awkward, okay. but your head is supposed to be back here, okay? So the head, the ear lined up with the shoulder. These shoulders are supposed to kind of be sitting back here. Coming back again, it just keeps wanting to pull, I know. That's normal alignment. <laughs> it feels really awkward, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and that's just because you're not used to it and your muscles aren't used to it. It's like you're trying really hard to get that to where it needs to be. Okay, so we're gonna start in the lower hip and pelvic area. These are some white boots. Yeah. <laughs> These boots were made for walking, I tell you. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm just wanting to get this corrected with your leg length inequality. I want to make sure you're walking around even. I want to make sure that this hip is balanced correctly as well. I'm definitely seeing that shifted out of place. What we're going to do is we're going to check and see how the lumbar spine is moving and how it's rotating. So a really big lock you keep down here, okay? This is all supposed to rotate much, much better. Anytime we look at x-rays and see twisting of the spine, they call that torque. The reason torque can be a bad thing in the spine is because when you're torquing or twisting, it creates a lot of pressure. Basically think of it like a rolled up towel, a wet towel. If you were to have a towel and you squeeze that towel, some water is going to come out of there. Mm -hmm. If you twist the towel, all of a sudden that pressure is so much, a lot of water comes out. Same thing in the spine. When we twist the spine and it stays twisted, that pressure is deep within the spine. And as a result, it starts to cause irritation, breakdown, things like that, okay? So we need to make sure with this adjustment today, we're getting this better movement, better motion into the spine, especially right here, right there, and right there. This is stuck, you see that? Mm How -hmm. it just sticks right there. So we're gonna be real, real important about adjusting down here. You're going to be um, on your side facing me. We're going to do a side posture adjustment. What we're going to do is we're going to bend this here. And we're going to be right here. And we're going to come over right here. sit right there for a minute. Did you notice the different layers of adjusting? So mm -hmm. we put you into tension and it's like pop, 
pop, pop. And then we make the deeper thrust and it was like, pop, pop, pop. So a lot of different opening going on. That's a good thing, that's what we want. What that tells us is when you're home, you can do some stretching and you're gonna have that open up and relax a little bit. You're not gonna be able to get the deeper adjustment that we did, but at least you'll get those primary layers of adjusting before getting into the secondary stuff, okay? We're gonna go to the other side, you're doing great. This is gonna be just a little different. On this adjustment, what we're actually doing, the other one was more of an external rotation for the lumbar spine and the sacroiliac joint. This one's really interesting because what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do what's called an inferior adjustment. So we're taking your ilium or that big bone right here and we're gonna bring it down towards the feet and rotate it under. So it's gonna be really cool. And that's gonna be right there. Oh yeah, I feel it right there. You can feel it, feel that little tight spot right there. Mm -hmm. That just comes over real easy. That was perfect. We're gonna go face down. How'd that feel? Was that a big adjustment? Yeah. <laughs> what did it feel like for you? Uh, I don't know, just like a, a lot of popping. A lot of popping? Did it feel like a release yeah. and, and looser afterward? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Perfect. So these are moving 100%. I like it. Love the proper motion in there, proper biomechanics. Really, really cool. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a lower thoracic uh, adjustment. We're going to get some better, what's called articulation in there or movement. You're going to bring this up. I want you to breathe in. Breathe in for me. You're going to breathe all the way out. We're utilizing the side of the spine. Good. right there. Now as you breathe and as I stretch, is that a pretty big stretch in there? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out these paraspinal muscles. This one's going to be even bigger, okay? So this comes over. We're just gripping from the lumbar and we're coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Okay, big breath in for me. Breathe in. There it is, breathe out, letting the breath out. There it is, good. There it is, wow, great job. We're pulling the rib cage away from the spine so we can start getting this untwisted. Very cool. And now we're gonna actually reset the spine now that we got the rib articulation out of the way. And this is just helping right here. So we're just gonna relax, just nice and easy. There it is. Perfect. That was a deep one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did you know your, your body could move that much in that area? No. <laughs> You're getting a lot of noise. Um, a lot of pressure coming out of there. I'm loving it. We're setting everything correctly. We're able to do a lot more today, which is very, very cool because after today's adjustment, that pain and discomfort should be gone. And um, I know that's exactly what you want, so that's a good thing. Okay. You're gonna sit up for me. You're gonna face that way. Okay. I want you to turn the head and show me when you start, or tell me when you start actually feeling any of discomfort, okay? Right there. Okay, and it's where? Like just a little bit, right? A little bit of a pull, a little bit of like a strain in there. Yeah. Uh, point exactly where you're feeling it. Uh, right here. Okay. The more you go, does the more that tighten up? Yeah. Okay, so right there. Let's bring that back. How about if you turn the head sideways? Does that cause any? Yeah. Yeah. So look at the way her head moves here. See how, how good it gets down here? If we go this way, right there is where it starts sticking. And we can try, see it won't even, mm -hmm. yeah, man, we go here, look at it. Range of motion all the way down. Here, sticking. And this is tricky because even though we're feeling pain and pressure on the left 
and center over here. A lot of this is actually coming from the right shoulder, the right trap, right upper ribs, right lower cervical, right middle cervical, left middle cervical, left lower cervical. So there's seven different vertebrae in here and out of all seven of these we need to adjust number seven, number six, number five, number four, number three on the right. And then on the left, we need to adjust six, five, four. And you can feel it right there. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do here is just real easy. Good. There it is. So we're just relaxing. I can you can feel it right there. Perfect. Yep, yeah, just let that shoulder come down. I know it's a lot. Whew. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That was right in that area that you're feeling that pinch, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we cleared out the left. Let's see how that range of motion has improved from the back angle here. So let's just check, see what's going on. So let's go ahead. We'll bring the head down this way. That's doing good. Let's come over this way. Oh yeah. So already it's getting there. It's still restricted, but we're about 10% better. Now, we have to address this stuff, okay? And that's a little tricky the way that's locked in there. So let's lay on your back. You're gonna be face up for me. Good job. Okay. Right here. So I want you to turn the head slightly. Let's see. So you can see the tension right there on this muscle in between my fingers and then right here that's where it's sore mm -hmm. and there's a little spot in there that's pulling Ooh, feel the crunch yeah it's crunchy under my skin under my finger so it pops sore crunchy this is uh, dysfunction right here mm -hmm. what we need to do to do to adjust this there's two joints right here there's the C3 and the C4 and there's the C3 and there's a big old knot in there that's a, what's a, called a swollen joint capsule, a facet joint it's called. We're gonna take the pressure out of that facet joint and have it moving better so it can start healing up in there without having the pressure in there. And right there. So what we're gonna do, the first thing, we're gonna see where the motion is stuck. So it's stuck there. Yep. Stuck there higher right there so we're going to clear the lower segment first good yep just breathe big breath in for me i know you can feel it let it all the way out you're just really good wow big adjustment that was huge wasn't it yeah. <laughs> how'd that feel feel good yeah yeah Now you got that C2 right there. So we just cleared away C3, C4, a little bit of C5. Now we're at the second cervical vertebrae and you feel it right there. Mm. Ooh, and it's a bilateral. Let's get this shoulder squared away, the scapula. We're gonna work a little bit on the first rib. This comes under right here, there we go. So this comes down. Perfect. The wrist, your wrist is really locked in. So this is definitely something we wanna address. We run into a lot of wrist issues and the problem with the wrist being stuck like that is it can develop into inflammation and they, they call inflammation on a joint arthritis. Just sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> um, we don't want that. So the, the challenge for you is Feel how stuck that gets right there? 
Okay, so what we're going to do is bring this down. There it is. I know that's a lot. So it's going to come back up. We're going to address this side. There it is, right there. You can feel it right where my thumb is. Perfect. This wrist is even tighter than the other one. Oh. <laughs> What'd that feel like? Uh, Big? Yeah. Big adjustment. Yeah. So what we did right there, and I'm just holding it to stay in a position because it was such a big release. We adjusted a number of bones there. We adjusted right below the thumb called the trapezium. That connects to what's called the radius, that big bone in the along the forearm. We also adjusted the ulna, which is on the other side as well. Wow. This feels night and day here. Usually when you have wrist issues like that, you're going to have elbow issues. Your elbow is not too bad. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Oof. What do you think caused your wrist to get so locked up? Uh, what do you do? You type a lot or you, you do yeah, anything? I, uh, I'm a motion pictures major, so I edit Editing? a lot. Ah, so you're on the computer a lot yeah. of hours, yep. Let's just see what your body's doing. Go ahead and turn the head for me. How are you feeling there? Your motion's great, 100%. Let's go to the other side. How are you feeling there? Uh, I still have a little bit of yep. like an ache, but and it's I, not I as can bad. tell. Yep, I can definitely tell. I can tell exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is the last of the cervical adjustments that we need to do. Yeah, good. Just let that shoulder. <sighs> Some major adjusting going on here. This is wild. Love it. Let's go ahead and sit up. We're going to turn. How are you feeling? Uh, there's like barely any pain. It's real slight amount. Yeah. yeah. So here's what's really cool about that. We did everything we needed to do. No hiccups. We adjusted the cervical spine a variety of different ways to get it positioned really, really well. That last little 1% or 2% that you're feeling in there, that's just a little time uh, healing that's going to take place. Let that relax, let that balance out, let it do its thing. You should be good to go. Awesome. You're all set for today. Thank you. Good job. Great job. You're going to feel like a million bucks after yeah. the weekend. So let me ask you this. Um, did you expect to feel that much relief as quick after your first adjustment? No. What, did, what were you expecting it to be? I expecting it to be like, well, because everyone told me like neck and back injuries take like weeks to get better. So yeah. and I was expecting it to take that long. So were you like astounded that when you was like, oh my gosh, it's healing up quick? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Love it. Very cool.